Greetings traders and welcome to another Trader Wisdom Tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you the following Tradevate platform setups. How to pull up a chart on Tradevate. How to place an order on Tradevate. How to set up the DOM on Tradevate. How to add full market depth level 2 data to Tradevate. How to monitor your trailing drawdown threshold in Tradevate. And how to set up Tradevate Group Trade Copier. So let's get started. Okay, so we are currently logged into the Tradevate platform. As you can see, your Apex account is right over here. Okay, so I'm first going to show you how to pull up a chart using the Tradevate platform. To do that, you want to go to the top left hand corner and click on this plus icon. Once clicking on that, you're going to see the chart icon. So you want to hold it down and then just drag it to the top. And then over here, you just want to type in the instrument that you would like to use. Okay, for this example, we're going to choose one of the popular indices, YM. And as you can see right here, four YM options have populated. Each option applies to a different contract month. So it is imperative to make sure that you choose the correct month. One way to verify that you are choosing the correct month is to go on the CME website and just type in the instrument that you want to use. The CME links I'm referring to will be included in the description below. So let's head to the CME group website so you can see what I'm referring to. Okay, so we're currently on the CME group website. These are the four YM options that we had to choose from. Now, how do we determine which contract month is the correct option for us to trade with? Well, first off, each option is split into three parts. You have the future symbol or instrument that you are trading, which in this case is YM. Next, you have the contract month code, which in this case is H M U N Z. And last, you have the contract year, which is the four at the end, which stands for 24. Now, some of you may be thinking, why did I only mention four contract code months when there are 12 months in a year? That's a great question. The U.S. indices or indexes, whichever term you prefer, roll their contract month every three months. So they use the same four contract months every year. And those four months are December, March, June, and September. And each of those four months corresponds to the month codes on your right hand side. This chart shows the date that the indexes will roll over to the next contract and also shows the expiration date when that contract month expired. This video is being recorded in February 2024. So if we look at the chart, the December 2023 contract expired on December the 15th. So that would put us at the March 2024 contract because that expires the 15th of March. So the March 2024 contract is the correct contract month and year that you should be currently using to trade YM. I will be including the CME group links in the description below. Okay, so after reviewing the CME website, we know that we need to choose YM, H, which is for March, and the 4 is for 2024. So we choose this option right here. Then click on select and the YM chart populates right over here. Now you have the option to have multiple charts open at the same time. Since we have another chart open, instead of clicking the plus over here, you just click the plus right next to this tab and then type in the symbol that you want. We'll choose ES this time and click select and right here it, the ES chart populates right over here. And you can just add as many as you like. So those are the steps to pulling up a chart on the Trade of A platform. Okay, so next I'll be showing you how to place an order. Over here you always have the option if you want to buy the market or sell the market, you just hit those buttons right there. However, if you choose to do limit orders, if you want to do a buy limit order, you just click uh, somewhere on the chart that's below the price, click the chart, and over here you have the buy limit option over here. If you want to do a sell stop, you click this button right here. We just close out of that. Now, if you want to do a sell limit order, you click a place on the chart that's above the price. And they have the sell limit button right over here. 
or if you choose to do a buy stop you click that button right there and then you could close out of that and for an example let me just show you how to exit an order so we'll just do a quick buy market okay so you're currently in a position and to exit the position you can just click this exit button right here and you're out now if you prefer to use the DOM to place your order you would go up to the top left where this plus sign is and choose the super DOM right over here just hold it and drag it right over here and you can just drag this to the left to make more room for your chart and then just type in the instrument you want to use. We have the YM up right now, so we'll choose the YM for the DOM as well. Click select. Okay, and your DOM is right here. Okay, and as you can see right here on the DOM, we can currently only see one price level. If you would like to see multiple price levels, you will need to purchase full market depth. And you go about doing that by going all the way to the top right hand side and click on the application setting. Okay, and afterwards you will click the subscriptions tab. Before we do that, I just want to give you a friendly reminder that this message does not apply to any of your Apex Trader Funding accounts. Your accounts have not been disabled, they are working perfectly, so you can just completely ignore this message. Okay, so we're going to go and click the subscriptions tab and we're going to scroll on down and select the update subscriptions button okay so you have the option to purchase full market depth level 2 data as a package where you get all four exchanges for $41 a month if you're only interested in purchasing one of these exchanges you could purchase them individually for $16 a month and if you scroll down a little bit further you have the option to purchase UREX data for the UREX instruments that are available for $23 a month and ICE Futures which is available for $140 a month. In order to trade instruments on these two exchanges you must purchase the, this data. Okay so for this example we're going to choose the depth of market level 2 data where you get these four exchanges for $41 a month. And you click update subscription. You may need to log out of Tradevate and log back in for the update to fully take effect. Okay, so those are the steps to setting up depth of market level 2 data. Okay, so next I'm going to show you how to monitor your trailing drawdown threshold. And you do that by going up to the top left hand corner and clicking on the plus icon and then selecting the accounts icon. You can drag it up to the top, but I'm going to drag it down to the bottom so that we can still see the charts. And I've taken the liberty of selecting all of the columns that we'll, we'll be using. All of them are listed right here. The way to choose these columns is to go to the right hand side and click on the view settings gear icon and clicking on select columns. And all of the options are over here and any option that you want you can just highlight it and drag it over here. These are all the columns that we will be using. Okay, so account is your account number. Dollar open PL is your open PL when you are in a trade. Dollar total PL is your PL for the day. Distance drawdown shows exactly how far away you are from reaching your drawdown. Distance to liquidation only is your current account balance. Drawdown auto liquidation level is where your drawdown threshold is currently at. Max net liquidation is your highest open peak account balance. So once you have all of these columns selected, you click on save. And once you get to the point where you are trading 5, 10, or 20 funded accounts, you may want to download the Trade of 8 desktop application which will allow you to pop this accounts tab out and put it in another window or 
screen if you like so that you can monitor all of your positions simultaneously. So those are the steps in setting up your Tradevate account so that you can monitor your trailing threshold. Okay, so next I'm going to show you how to set up your Tradevate Group Trade Copier, which will allow you to trade multiple accounts at the same time. You do that by scrolling all the way up to the top right hand side and clicking on the application setting. And then you want to click on the add-ons tab. And then scroll down until you see group trade and then click activate. You'll see successfully processed and to complete the activation process we will need to log out of Tradevate and then log back in. Okay so after logging back in you want to go up to the top click on the accounts drop down menu and then select manage groups. And then from here you're going to click on the plus icon and then you want to name your group. Let's just name this group Trader Wisdom. And click OK. And as you can see, you can see the two accounts that you can select from right over here. OK, so you just drag the accounts that you want to have added to their group. So we'll just drag both these accounts over here and then you could change the quantities of these. I'm going to leave this at one quantity since this is a larger size account. This is a 300k account. I'm going to change the quantity to three. And then after that, then after that you click save. And then after saving you close this out. And to access the trade group that you just set up, you want to go all the way to the top on the accounts menu drop down. Click on the drop down menu and then you see the group right here, Trader Wisdom Money, then you select it. And as you can see, it's highlighted right here, Trader Wisdom Money. And before you start trading, you want to make sure that you change the quantity in the main field. We had a quantity of one for one account and a quantity of three for the other account. So you have to add up the total number of contracts. So that would be a quantity of four. So change this to a quantity of four. If this quantity does not match what you have in the groups, you'll get an error message and won't be able to trade. Okay, so that's set up. And you can add as many groups as you like. Once you're finished trading, if you want to exit the group, just unselect this, and then you're back trading normally. You want to add other groups, just click Manage Groups, and you can add as many groups as you like. So those are the basics of setting up your Tradevate group accounts. If you are interested in purchasing an Apex Trader Funding Tradevate account, or if you currently have a Tradevate account and would like to purchase additional accounts so that you can take advantage of the Tradevate group copier, feel free to check out my affiliate link in the description or use promo code WISDOM. Both options will give you the highest available promotion that Apex Trader Funding is currently offering. For returning customers, the easiest way to purchase additional accounts is to log into your Apex Trader Funding dashboard and for a Tradevate account, click on the Tradevate menu, drop down menu, and then scroll down and choose the account size you would like to purchase. If you are interested in checking out my video about the first steps in setting up a Tradevate account, where I guide you through connecting your Tradevate accounts on Tradevate, TradingView, and NinjaTrader platforms, feel free to take a look at this video to your right. So until next time, happy trading and thank you for watching Trader Wisdom.